1979, actor Michael Richards was performing stand-up comedy in places like the Comedy Store and the Improv. Some 10 years later, he was cast as Kramer in Seinfeld, and he came to everybody's attention. After eight years as Kramer, Michael Richards' character has emerged as one of the most recognizable in television. It has won him two Emmys. His latest project is the film Trial and Error, a comedy about an out-of-work actor who must pose as a defense attorney. Joining me now is Michael Richards, and I am pleased to have him. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you, Terry. And congratulations. I mean, to read about you guys and, and payday. Uh-huh. Payday indeed. Payday indeed. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to talk about the movie, but that, I mean, that, that's a reflection of a lot of years put in um, and c coming, coming up to a season in which yeah. NBC says, we know who butters our bread. Yeah, we'd like to do another year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't expecting it, actually. We were ready to close down the shop uh, after the eighth year, and uh, they came to us and said they wanted to do a ninth year. And, well, we're going to have to renegotiate. What now, do you want? Now, what? <laughs> Tell us is what that, you want. Is that you what want they said? the show back. Is that what they said? Yeah, Basically, what's yeah. your price? Yeah. So, and, and you uh, supposedly said it's a million dollars an episode. We did say one million dollars an episode. And, and did Isn't they drop astonishing? off the chair, or did they say... No, they, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't go in, back into no, negotiations for another three and a half months. They just sort of swallowed it. That's how long it took. Yeah. Also, they had to now look and see how they were going to make this happen. To give and some context did. to this, you were making yeah. at the time 150,000 an episode I or something like that. I hate to talk like about that. this. I'm I know embarrassed you do, because everyone goes, well, that's enough. Why did they want so much more? But it, well, because of the law of supply face, and demand, which is American it, economics. Indeed, what the show profits per year. It's a highly yeah. successful show, and that's w how the numbers came about. More than that, it's the linchpin for NBC's primetime schedule. In that sense, too, yeah. You know, I mean, they knew yeah. that going in, that it was more than just simply one episode right. that was the highest rated comedy show yeah, on television. Yeah, but we weren't holding them over a barrel, like in being greedy <laughs> pigs. Oh, really? Oh, we bet, know that. I bet right. that's not what they say. Uh, no, no, they, they, they're aware. They're aware, too, of what the show profits. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was in that issue. We're not worried about them being able to pay it, are we? Uh, oh, they can. They, we're fine. Everyone's fine. <laughs> NBC's going to be okay. I think so. <laughs> well, okay. I was, yeah, I was worried fine. coming in, but what the heck? If you say they'll be all right, <laughs> they'll be all right. Yeah. And you'll have time not only to do that. But Suddenly, we don't have a set of costumes, but we'll be there. <laughs> we'll be okay. there, Charlie. <laughs> There'll be no script. You'll ad lib the thing. But listen, what the heck? What we're the there. heck? That's all. It's uh, tell me about the film, and then we'll come back to <laughs> Seinfeld. I play a struggling actor living yeah. in Hollywood, and my best friend is a lawyer. He's not able to show up for court. Uh, so I go in to make just a short appearance. Because he's sort of hung over from a, a party. Yeah, and it's crucial. Him. Yeah, yeah. Something happened at yeah. a party, and uh, he's incapacitated. So I go in to cover for to him. To make an appearance. That's right. And uh, it becomes a case, and I have to continue. Yeah. To now make that you've that made appearance. an appearance, so you have to be coached as to how to yeah, perform. It's the like ultimate a... part. Yeah, that's right. So this actor now is playing the part of, a, of his life, a oh. lawyer. Roll tape. Here's a scene from okay. Trial and Error. Well, we want to be fair. Fair? And what do you think is fair for a man who's been preying on the sick and the elderly and the poor all his life? Well, six years. The maximum's five. <laughs> I know that. You asked me what I thought would be fair. If my client were guilty, which he isn't, but if he was, bottom line, uh, Six weeks. Though I'm pretty open at this point. <laughs> oh, I, I really hate this stuff, don't you? I mean, you're on one side, I'm on another. And can't we get around this law thing? Huh? You're touching me. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Obviously, your co-star yeah. is Jeff Daniels. Yes. Uh, he plays Charlie, the lawyer right, who that's right. was hung He's over. He's the trial, I'm And here. could not go. The character Kramer. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much of it is your creation, and how oh. much of it came from the head of the creator yeah. of Seinfeld? Jeez, it's, uh, it's, it's storylines come up. They give me a, a beat on the character. They open me up in certain ways. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't. I can't really answer the question, Charlie. There's just so many factors. Much of it does come from my sense. I bring a certain presence, a certain. Uh, sensibility to the character, certainly a certain comedic styling um, that is just uh, unique. The original inspiration for the character yeah. came from where? Well, uh, you know, Larry David had known Kenny Kramer, 
yes. in New York and pulled some of the situations out of a hat. Yeah. Those two had gone through, uh, but then they were exaggerated, and uh, as writers can do. There was an interesting piece on, I thought a very good piece by Steve Croft of Jury mm. on 60 Minutes. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? No. Oh, yes, yeah, some of it. Some you of don't it. watch Seinfeld either. I don't. Well, you're too busy doing what? Uh, I'm uh, too busy probably brooding over what could have been done <laughs> the last well, show we just finished. I, I, it's, it's painful for me to watch the show. <laughs> Is it really? I, I always see more that can be done. And then they're cut. You know, they cut them down. We usually, when we, we're usually seven, eight minutes over. And uh, it's, it's very difficult for me to watch the work. I like to do it. I really just like to do it and move on to the next script. Was it difficult for you to watch this movie? No. Well, what's no. the difference? More preparation. For this? Yeah, months of preparation yeah. in the uh, rewriting of the script. Uh, I, and uh, we, we worked very, very closely with the material. Uh, things came up along the way, but ultimately I knew what was going to be done. Seinfeld, on a week-to-week -week basis, we can fly by the seat of our pants. A lot of rewriting right up to camera. Okay, walk me through sure. a six-day week. Oh, gosh. Monday, what happened? I'd rather not. I'm on vacation. Uh, Come on. I just want to remind you of it for a second. Monday, uh, what happened? Monday, we have a table reading. We, right. We sit can, around a table like this and read. Yeah, we'll read. We'll hear it. And uh, we Jerry's usually, there. Yeah, we usually go to work that afternoon on some of the material. Uh, the next day... What does uh, go to work mean? Uh, we'll, we'll put it up on its feet. Or what does that mean? Uh, we'll, uh, but two actors we'll start, get to start a scene. We, yeah, we'll start rehearsing the scenes. Right. We'll, 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 we'll block the show very, very quickly. Uh, the next day we come in, rewrite, big rewrite. Uh, much of it changes. Based on how much uh, of the experience of seeing it together and also based yeah. on yeah. your contribution to what right. you know what's right, right. for you. They can character. get a sense of it, yeah, yeah. seeing how, 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 it, how it's working on its feet. And uh, the next week, uh, the next <laughs> week, uh, the next day, uh, we could be shooting some of the exteriors yeah. while some of the interior scenes are being rewritten. Um, so that's Wednesday or Thursday now. Yeah, the fourth day. Um, usually we're shooting exteriors. The, the, those two days, the third and fourth day, we're shooting exteriors. I hope this isn't boring. I no, don't it's know. not. People are fascinated. The mechanics, it's behind the scenes. The mechanics look, at, of it. look at this. Behind the scenes of America's favorite sitcom. You're right. <laughs> Special reports for the trivia obsessed. Right. Every Kramer entrance. Ah. The entrance came from where? This um, famous entrance of you coming into... I know when it came in. I can't tell you exactly what the episode was, but I know that I came in to catch up with the scene. Something was happening very quickly in the scene, and I come bolting in. And it got a laugh, as well as it felt right. It was just... And, of course, it, it took a few shows to get to this point, but... Um, I felt that that represented Kramer. That was the essence of the character because I felt that's how the character steps into life. He just he comes into yeah. things. Also, the pace of the show, it's moving very fast, the patter between Jerry and George. Uh, so um, I like to get in quick and, and get right to, um, to the scene. So that's, that's another way of, of looking at it. It really is a combination, the success of this sitcom, mm -hmm. first jury, but then the perfect combination of ensemble actors and good writing. Absolutely. Oh, indeed. I mean, this is my third television show. I know about that one. It's a chemistry, but it's, it's difficult to, to still tell you why it works. It's like trying to say why we're really, really, really here on this planet. I mean, it's a mystery to me. No one, no one thought that the show would become this successful. I mean, it tested badly. It was picked up only for four shows in the first year. Right. The second show, mm, let's just give them 13. Let's not give them the full <laughs> right. I don't know about that Seinfeld show. Okay, what's next on the schedule? Yeah, we'll That's give them exactly 13. Right. And That's then it started to catch on. Uh, we all we did we we always had a decent following. In the second year, we still had a we had a, a share of the audience that stayed consistent. So NBC started to note, take note of that. Why did you become an actor? Oh, why does the hair grow on the top of my head? Well, I, know, <laughs> I know. but I mean, is it was it nothing you, ever? Oh, ever, I, I took mean, a, I took a drama class in eighth grade and boom. Are you serious? I I, I never left it. It just uh, I took to it. I was I was. 
good at it. It was easy for me. You had what? I did my. Uh, I did a scene from uh, uh, the Tempest. Yeah. Uh, I played Caliban, and I, there I was in eighth grade, and I could kind of crunch my body up. And you know, my voice, and I did, yeah. and everyone's going, "Look at that! Look at that boy!" There, there's a guy. There's a color. <laughs> yeah. And then they cast me in a school play through the drama class, and uh, whew, that was it. Yeah. How long did it take you to make it? I tell you, I made it in eighth grade because the success in what could be achieved—that was the peak. Each situation, junior high, high school the leads in the class plays, uh, community col uh, college I w had gone to, the leads in those plays, uh, community theater, regional theater, the leads, each, that was all making it for me. Even when I came into Los Angeles and thought, look at this, a stand-up club, what goes on in there? And I would get up there and play around and... What would you do in stand-up? Uh, I didn't tell jokes, characters, running around the audience, wild things, I improvised, I was a uh, loose cannon. I, I, wear an old tattered tux and uh, knock about stuff uh, and it was uh, I think it was refreshing because Bud Friedman put me on the lineup within a month yeah. month and a half because most of the comics were working that that six minutes for the Tonight Show yeah. and then the, something like me the, would come the Jerry up there. Seinfeld one of these uh, back then uh, I think uh, Jerry Seinfeld wanted to be yeah, Jerry I'm Seinfeld. Sure, I'm sure I know <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> um, everyone what a lineup when you yeah. think of it, uh, Jay Leno was a part of the lineup, $25 a night. David Letterman, Robin Williams, Steve Billy Martin. Uh, no, yes. Uh, Martin was hitting it at the time. He was out there yeah, already. Yeah, he was already out there. But all those people now are what did solidly they have, involved with the and, entertainment industry. And what do they have in common, in your judgment? Uh, the, uh, uh, the desire, the need. Need. To perform. They were driven by it, and uh, as we all were, there was just a desire, there was a hunger to, to, to see what more we could do the next night. It was fascinating, fascinating. It's always been that way with me from the eighth grade on, though. When I do yeah. one play, then I'd want to do another play, and do another play. <clears throat> if the satisfaction is doing it, the need mm -hmm. to be performing, yeah. is, it, is it that much better that you're recognized and make, you know, Millions of oh, I think there's more responsibility, a lot more pressure too. Consistency is the name of the game. People think that Seinfeld is a good show. It is indeed a good show. The Kramer character, it's a wonderful character. Uh, but then you've got to be as good as a Seinfeld show, as good as the Kramer, yeah, Kramer exactly. character in the next project you do. That's, uh, that's, so that's a, that's a responsibility. It can be a pressure. People are watching you now. You're in the light. Did you feel a lot of pressure when you did Trial and Error? Um, I feel more pressure with it coming out and uh, seeing how the audience takes to it. Uh, there's the business factor involved in how a picture opens, how it comes out of the gate, as they say. Um, but when I was making it, there was no pressure because my heart's in it. There, yeah. I'm allowed to be the artist. Now, how long do you think you can do Seinfeld? How long can I do it? No, the, the group. I mean, I think one, I don't know. One certainly, as long as if Jerry goes, it's over. Well, any of us go, we wouldn't go, have over. done it. Right. We wouldn't exactly. have done it. I mean, this is a team that came and yeah. leaves. That's true. Together. That's right. right. Uh, let me just run one. Okay. If you haven't seen it, this is a typical reaction uh, interaction between Jerry okay. and Kramer uh, that Good. doesn't need to be set up. Uh, roll tape. Here it is. Seinfeld, America. Yeah, I need to say more. I mean, if you look at that and don't uh -huh. see. What a friendship they have that I can come in, grab some ice cream, and take the whole carton with me <laughs> yeah, as I go I out the door. Say, take more than your share on one tablespoon, <laughs> you know? But it says it all right there. I mean, there's the energy. There it is. There's this sort of Jerry's take on Kramer. There's Kramer's... Right. You know? Right. I mean, you could see the character. They were interesting. There was all of it. Mm -hmm. And you just got to do that scene after scene after scene But each scene is scene. different. That's what makes it so... So inspired. But it's got to deliver the same way, doesn't it? I mean, well, yeah. Sometimes I can come in. I can be. I can be in a real funky mood too. <laughs> and there he's yeah. up. He's getting tickets. He's on his way. He's gonna have a good time. He's got a date too. That episode, as it involves Jerry Seinfeld's biggest talent, is what? Uh, <laughs> Recognizing true genius and others. Well, I'll tell you, he's a heck of a writer. He's he a, writes a lot of these shows. Yeah. Does he really? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, with the writers. I mean, he's right in there. He knows these characters mm -hmm. very, very well. They were conceived uh, by he and Larry David. Um, I I would say his biggest talent is uh, he knows he knows what's funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've never been uh, held down by. Jerry Seinfeld, and then I'll go way over no <laughs> okay. sometimes, and I'll look at him and go, you want to put that in? He goes, yeah. Oh, that's you know, great. Big yeah. stuff. You can't like ask that. for more than that. Well, I don't think we would have well, the Kramer. Ask for a million. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. It's great to have you on the program. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, much success. Trial Thanks. and Error is okay. the film. <laughs> May 30th. May 30th. It'll yeah. be opening at screens around America. Right. Thanks. As they say. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Pleasure. My thanks to Michael Richards for an interview recorded earlier this week. Coming up next, Boutros Boutros Ghali.